All right, guys. So I've been super busy in the garage today. Uh, there's a drift event this weekend, and we're going to do our very best to make it. Um, we are pulling out my rear subframe right now. So I currently have a non-adjustable subframe, and so since my car is lowered, it develops a whole lot of camber and a whole lot of toe in. Naturally, that's just the way that the E30s fall. So. I have a new subframe from Grogistic that has uh, it's fully reinforced and it has their camber and toe adjustment kit. So we'll be able to get uh, zero offset, hopefully zero toe, and uh, we'll have better tire wear and better grip for the track. Right now, this is the state that the subframe's in. Uh, I have it unbolted here. I've got the exhaust down. I've got everything unbolted here, and we're. Uh, we're going to let her fall down and then we'll drag it out and we will get to work on swapping things over to the new adjustable subframe. I'm jacking it up kind of violently to try to disrupt whatever is uh, holding on to the bushings here and trying to kind of break it loose using gravity and uh, whatnot. she goes so the subframe is out completely now I forgot the wires for the e-brake uh, that was pretty easy I just lifted it back up and then uh, unbolted them from the handbrake and fed them through the lines and then there was that one uh, the ABS sensor I forgot that but now I have the trailing arms all unbolted and the diff unbolted as well I'm hoping to move this as one whole unit other than the subframe bushings but uh, I'm gonna try to get this guy apart because I've been working for that all day. That was a whole lot easier than I expected it. So there, the old crusty subframe is disconnected from the trailing arms. So now I'm going to go grab the nice new powder coated one and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it first because it's a little different than the one you would get uh, if you bought it straight from Grogistic with their reinforcement kit and their toe and camber arms already welded on. I'm going to get this guy out of here though. I've got the new subframe here. I'm just going to show you guys how this uh, camber and toe kit works. and. Um, and show you guys what's a little bit special about this subframe in particular. Getting a little bit more up close here. Um, these are the eccentric bolts or eccentric bolts uh, that these guys will come with if you buy the whole kit. Um, if you buy just the kit it will come with these two brackets that come on either side and a set of these or you can buy the bolts separately um, go through their catalog and you'll figure it out pretty quick but these eccentric bolts come with these uh, sort of like offset washers and so this is what gets you your alignment now these fit perfectly into the actual bracket itself so this bracket here it goes up and down and as you spin this guy that bolt will travel up and down to give you your adjustable camber now on the other side or on the outer side here uh, it goes forward and backwards and so that's going to give you that toe adjustment so you get your camber set and then you get your toe set because depending on how much camber you do or do not have you are going to have to adjust your toe accordingly Now, what's a little bit different about this subframe is the actual mounting point for the trailing arms is moved upwards. So this way you can keep more of your original suspension geometry uh, while still being slammed, or at least that's the idea. Honestly, I am no pro with this stuff. Alright, day two. Um, I basically put the whole subframe together last night and then I, I pretty much called it. 
but right now we're going to swap these bushings from the old subframe onto the new one and then we're going to try to get it back in the car. Why do we? We're about to put the jack under the subframe and get it under the car. And I'm not helping and, and Jonas is helping. mad. I'm not mad. I'm Look at that angry face. Help, dude. Look at that angry face. Oh. <laughs> For the record, this is extremely um, unsafe. Yeah, these. <laughs> this is a very bad thing happening here. Yeah. And I don't know if there's really a way for us to amend this, but uh, well, you know, we kind of just what we have to do to get this thing in there. Well, we can <laughs> we can pull the jack out with Everything. the and just retry. That's a <laughs> why. Look at this. It's like it's pretty close. If you go align that side, it will lift this up. Okay. Aligning this side is cool. Okay. something really important to note here um, the actual head of the screw needs to be on um, on the inside they both need to be facing the inside of the control arm so here's your brake this is your control arm going out to the subframe these guys the pieces that actually adjust the uh, trailing arms they both need to be facing inwards the heads of the screws so this guy and that guy they both need to be this way so you can access them and adjust your alignment this is important you need this to happen otherwise you'll look something like him <laughs> so under the car here we have figured out a much better technique um, we have one jack I think it's safer. Under the diff, and then we have another jack under the center of the subframe here. And so we are teeter-tottering back and forth to try to get the subframe bushings lined up with their bolts, and then we'll get it in, and uh, we'll come back to you guys then. So after many, many hours of work, the subframe is finally in. As you can see, there is quite a bit less camber but um, I have not gotten it aligned yet. Once you put this guy in, you definitely want to take it directly to an alignment shop, or you can do one yourself. I think we're gonna give it a go, see how well we can do one, and then if we can't, which is likely, we will take it to an alignment shop. So, another one of Grogistic's products on the car. If you guys don't already know, I run pretty much all Grogistic stuff on my car. All of my bushings are Grogistic, all of my motor mounts, training mounts, they're all Grogistic stuff. And it's been great so far. Everything's fit really well. Everything's been easy to install, you know, as easy as that kind of stuff can be. So definitely go check out their store in the description. Um, yeah, go buy stuff from them because they make good stuff. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Got to think of my hand when I hold the camera like this. Die. You know, you know, how and they'll be like, wow, that was totally a this you guys are dumb. <laughs> this is seriously. Yeah, seriously. This is, this is not right. This is very wrong. So is this jacket? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>